Let's practice using the periodic table to determine the position of our atom based on its quantum numbers. The principal quantum number n tells us which row of the periodic table our element is located in. Since n equals 2, we know we're in the second row of the periodic table, and it narrows us down to these eight elements. The next quantum number L tells us which subshell we're in. L equals 0 indicates the S subshell, so we know that L equals 1 tells us we are in the P subshell. So that eliminates these two elements, and we can move on to M sub L. Using the columns of the periodic table, we can determine the options for M sub L. They are negative 1, 0, and positive 1, negative 1, 0, and positive 1, and this is based on the orientation of the orbital itself, in this case, px, py, or pz. We know that m sub l equals 0, so we can eliminate the other options for m sub l, which leaves us with carbon and fluorine. Our last quantum number will help us determine our final answer. We know that m sub s is negative one half, which means it's spin down. On the periodic table, we can determine we fill from left to right. And so we have spin up, spin up, spin up. And then we pair up our electrons with spin down, spin down, spin down. And since we know it's negative one half, we know that it is spin down. So our element is fluorine.